There's a certain amount of arrogance that comes with assuming you'll make a serious impact to a real and complicated problem in 48 hours. Hackathons are the way to get doctors from one country, engineers from another, designers, people who don't live in the same world thinking about the same problem. It's about starting something. I really believe that global health problems are not solved by charity. They are actually solved by sustainable business models and multidisciplinary teams. There's this crisis that happens worldwide every year that 1.8 million babies die from oxygen depriving events at the time of birth. The vast majority of those are preventable. So this was a baby who was born in Marara, Uganda, and the baby was not breathing. This midwife is alone, and this is the common situation in most of the developing countries. The easiest place to check a pulse on a newborn baby is at their umbilical cords. And even though you cut it off, you still feel that pulse for quite a period of time. Tying the cord takes more time than actually putting a clamp. Yeah, right. And so the question here is, can we put a clamp and cut? And potentially, that clamp can then give us also a heart rate somehow. things that I'm noticing is that the baby is moving, right, because of the surface. The baby, if the baby's on the, on the mother's abdomen, it's not a great surface. For so is there some, like, let's just say, you throw in some kind of tray that gives the midwife Space. a harder surface? Yeah. Wireless yesterday, you're like, it's too expensive. Well, right? not so, necessarily. I mean, thinking about it more, I mean, there's some, there's also some different ways, especially if we use that tray, like, because right? the tray could have a, a nice, uh, nice uh, inductive coil in it, and then there could be a change in inductance on the coil that's on the umbilical cord or, or wherever. We can't even get clips out. We're gonna get these crazy trays. <laughs> yes. If we're having trouble getting this out there, yeah. how are we going to do this? The economics of that actually makes sense. As long as the clamp that works with the sensing board is cheap enough. You're advocating for sustainable, yeah, right? I'm advocating for sustainable because that's truly what I think will work. And, and you, it has to be, you're advocating for emotional attachment to drive adoption. Exactly, that's, even if it's not cheap, my country is not all poor. So you have some plastic for the clamp. The circuit would just be a flex circuit that you would make with a capacitor and an inductor. Probably twice that thickness, but that size. So is there some tin foil? Yes, there is. Let's blind this, okay? I'm gonna tell you when I think that you're squeezing it. Yeah, yeah. And you tell me if that is actually working. All right. Squeeze. Unsqueeze. Squeeze. Unsqueeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're detecting deflection with a couple pieces of aluminum foil, which were soldered with a soldering gun. It works. Yeah, isn't that <laughs> weird? Awesome. there will be babies that need to be resuscitated, and such a huge percentage of them will go on to live their entire lives 
if you only have one dollar to spend and you want it to do the biggest health impact, it's hard for me to imagine how to do it more than help a baby to live. Knowledge of the interdependency that exists between physicians and engineers and designers is very critical. And once you actually recognize it, you want to be with them. We are Team Every Baby, and we are here to help every baby.